Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome to this special video, which will be the top 10 Call of Duty guns as evident by the title. I mean, you guys should know this stuff by now. I started playing Black Ops 3 recently, and it got me thinking about some great guns from the game's history. Before I get started, let me point out that I never played the games before 4, and I've really just skimmed over the last few games. I haven't really been Im like immersed like I was before since MW3, so this list will mostly be Modern Warfare 1, 2, 3, World at War, and Black Ops. I also try to include different weapon types, so some of my favorites actually aren't on the list because I wanted to include some guns from different classes. We start our list with one of the most fun guns in all of history. Obviously we have to include this gun somewhere in here, which is the STG from World at War. My first time playing the game, this gun blew me away, quite literally a few times I'm sure, but it, it's strong, it's accurate, it's got a really cool design, I mean just look at it. Even when you're aiming down the iron sights, they're cool. Not many guns can say that. Speaking of cool designs, we have the MPL at number 9. There's two kind of guns I lean towards. Pistols and submachine guns, and that's, that's just the way it's always been. I mean, really, when I'm looking back, that is literally half of my list right there. Anyway, the MPL is one of the coolest designs ever, I think. And I think Black Ops had a lot of really cool submachine gun designs. You know, like the Kaparis, the Spectre was pretty cool, the PM-63, the Scorpion the MPL, but I think the MPL was the best, I mean, that's just me. Speaking of Black Ops neat designs, the Commando comes in at number 8, one of the coolest reloads, and debatably the best gun in the game, if you really think about it. But I'm sure as you've noticed, most of my selections are based on neat designs, and this gun is no different. Aside from the G11, no other assault rifle is even close to the Commando's look. While we're discussing neat assault rifles that you unlock late in your prestiges, the FAD, or the FAD, I don't know how it's pronounced, this gun comes in at number 7. Due to the excessive prestige in Modern Warfare 3, because people wanted to go as high as they could, and the difficulty getting the gold guns, I feel most players never really got to enjoy the FAD like I did. An insane fire rate, and you guessed it, a banging design. The only like machine gun to make the list is the best one in Modern Warfare 2. When I got my first ever Pavlo, it was with this gun. Predominantly because of this gun. A strong gun that doesn't need to be reloaded often because you're playing Modern Warfare 2. Realistically, you're going to die before you have to reload. But in seriousness, a boss gun and a game literally full of them. Back to the submachine guns from the past, though. We have the PPSH taking the fifth slot. How can you not like this gun? An unreal fire rate, a neat look, and the fact it's like the more experienced gamer's version of the Thompson and MP40, which were really overused in that game. You just, you have to love this weapon. Now, when I decided I was going to include different kinds of guns, I'm pretty sure just about everybody immediately expected this gun to make the list. And it's really the only weapon of its kind that could make the list, and that's the intervention at number four. It's the greatest sniper ever. I mean, are you a serious sniper? You'd like it, because it's a one-shot kill. You a quick scoper? This literally is your gun. Noob who wants to look cool? Yeah, it's your gun. Getting the idea yet? What other sniper would ever deserve to take this gun out of its spot? The Barret? Okay, this will be the one I think you guys will bash me for, so go ahead, take your flaming fingers of fires to the comments section. The MP7, this is the best submachine gun ever. It, it really is. It's like the designers decided to make it the best gun, without question. It's quick, it's strong, has a larger than normal ammo capacity, looks really cool, doesn't seem like it bounces all that much. Literally, if I'm ever having a bad game when I'm W3, all I do is I equip the MP7, and with a support kill streaks, I immediately become the best player in the lobby. And it pretty much doesn't matter what the lobby is. Because the gun is just that overpowered. Best gun in MW3, without question. And don't worry, that's the last insanely common weapon, because number two is the FAMAS in Modern Warfare 2. Otherwise known as the best gun in a game full of overpowered weapons. Don't believe me? Put a suppressor on it, stopping power, and it's a one burst weapon. One burst. Which means you basically aim and click to shoot, and the opponent is dead. Carry a stinger with you to take out any, any UAVs, or... Yeah, because only, they only had UAVs back then. And you're invisible. Yeah, the ACR was good, I'm not arguing that, but I'd take the FAMAS over it any day. Time for some honorable mentions before we get to number one. You have the MP5 from basically any COD game, but in particular the original Modern Warfare was like the only gun I used on that game. The M93 Rafika was the neatest concept from Modern Warfare 2. It's a burst pistol that actually can be used effectively, and I don't think they've ever actually made one that nah, I feel like it's actually useful. Not to mention it's in a game where the pistols are useful, it's the one that's most useful. The Vector was an amazing gun that kind of gets lost in the Modern Warfare 2 shuffle, but it's a great gun if you know what you're doing with it. The Razorback from Black Ops 3 is the only gun post-Modern Warfare 3, and it, it's quite honestly the only gun that caught my interest in those games. 
Now time for my favorite gun in any Call of Duty game, and that's obviously the 357 Magnum. I love revolvers, I do. They're always cool, you just can't go wrong with a revolver. But I think this was the best incarnation in the world's worst pistol game, because really, none of the other pistols were really useful in that game. None of them. The M19? Uh, the, the Makarov? Uh, you can stop now. This one was actually good, and this was before you know you could just take your pistol off. You had to carry one. So why not carry the one that can actually kill things? I remember on more than one occasion, I used this pistol to snipe. And this was before the, the, I think it was the Python, where they gave it an ACOG scope. No, th this was a, a serious real deal thing. You just aimed across the map, you shot, and it, it hit the target. Always find a reason to use your revolver. Always. I don't care what game it is, it's always worthwhile. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure you mention what your top few guns are. You don't have to do top 10, but maybe it's like top 5, top 3. Or tell me if I'm wrong about any of my opinions on the comment section. But thank you for viewing, and I'm out.